When was the last time you prayed and felt a deep connection with God? Was it during a moment of need or was it simply part of a routine? How often do you pray? Not out of obligation or habit, but with an intention of truly communing with God? Welcome to the unveiling of grace program of the Marthoma Youth Ministry of the Mumbai Diocese. Tomorrow as we ponder on the theme prayer constant communion with god let us meditate from gospel according to saint matthew chapter 6 verses 5 to 15 today we are going to see prayer as one of the fundamental principles of christian faith in his sermon on the mount jesus emphasizes for us how we are to approach god in prayer reminding us that it is about sincere constant communion with our heavenly father and not about outward show or performance jesus teaches us that prayer is more than just words it is a spiritual discipline that brings us into an intimate relationship with god helping us grow in grace and faith let us ponder on what prayer is and what prayer does firstly prayer is personal and intimate in chapter 6 verses 5 and 6 jesus contrasts the prayer of the hypocrite with the prayer of a true believer he says when you pray do not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others truly i tell you they have received their reward in full here jesus criticizes those who pray for the sake of public attention their goal is not communion with god but to gain approval of people Jesus teaches us instead to pray in a secret place away from the eyes of others. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Prayer is a private, intimate conversation with God rather than a public performance. It is a meeting of hearts, ours with God's. In our secret spaces, we pour our hearts out honestly. knowing that god who sees what is done in secret hears and responds this kind of prayer enriches us because it is grounded in a relationship not in a ritual or formality secondly prayer aligns us with god's will when jesus teaches his disciples the lord's prayer he begins by focusing on the greatness of god our father in heaven hallowed be your name This opening line teaches us to come to God with reverence and to seek his glory in all things. The prayer continues. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Prayer is not just about asking for our needs, but about aligning ourselves with God's will. We are called to seek God's will in all areas of our life and to take part in his purposes. for the kingdom god continues to shape our hearts and thoughts to fulfill his purposes while we pray so in this way we move from selfish prayer to prayers of surrender trusting that god's will is always good even when we do not understand his ways dear friends we are called to live lives of constant communion with god through prayer this means that prayer should not be reserved only for certain times of the day or for specific occasions but should be the disposition of our hearts at all times as the apostle paul wrote in 1 thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 pray without ceasing this entails having a constant conversation with god and offering him our needs desires burdens and thanksgivings at all times of the day The more we pray, the more we experience God's presence and guidance in our lives. Through prayer, we deepen our relationship with God, align our desires with His, and are shaped by His grace. Here is the challenge for the week. Set aside time each day to pray in a quiet place. Let this be a time of personal and intimate communion with God. Ask yourself, how can I align my prayer more with God's will? seeking his kingdom rather than my own desires note it down and finally seek god's grace 
to put it into action may god bless us amen